So the first thing we want to do uh, when we log in, we're automatically going to land on our workspace. And I'm going to slide right on down to this box that says assign role. And I'm going to pretend that I'm going to assign a role to my, uh, to, to my domain. And I am going to assign support at dualdev.com to the data entry role. I'm going to add my company. Looks like he already has a role. So if I wanted to assign a new role, I could click on assign role again, enter the email address right here. If they are an employee or officer, or if they're not an employee or officer. So for those of you who are using third parties, consultants, data entry specialists, or lawyers to update your SAM registration, be sure to fill this out. If you are a dual dev client, uh, typically your start, your end date would be about five years, or if you only have a one year agreement, whichever is applicable. So I'm going to put my start date as today, and then my end date will be I'm going to select the entity. Now, because I already have a role, these last few are not going to show up. Um, but when you get to the domain, you want to select the entity registration data entry type of role. Uh, you can make a comment in the box if you need to, and then click send invitation. Once you send that invitation, I will receive that on my end in in my request notification. So that will be found right here. And then when I open up my requests, I see all the requests that I have ever received in there. It is likely that you will only be able to have one open request at a time. That's very common. Um, that may be expected to be updated as well in the near future. Um, so do be cognizant if you are one accepting roles to make sure that you uh, stay on top of it and approve those quickly so that the next role request can come in. That's all for today. Thank you so much and have a great day.